Today, we have something absolutely astounding, special, and historical. One of my favorite sneakers of all time, I finally have purchased. So what's up and what's glorious YouTube, the World Wide Web. As you guys can see, it's your host of the most, Paul Can too. And if you guys have been following the channel, I have been hunting, thrifting, trying to find sneakers to flip and sell in order to build the ultimate 90 sneaker collection. And today I have my first purchase of an absolutely classic 90s kick in a classic colorway. Without further ado, let's get into the shoe. Boom! So what we have in hand, my friends, are an absolute 90s classic. You have the Nike Air Trainer SE High in the Auburn color scheme. Yes! And these shoes aren't only iconic, but it's the person who wore these kicks and promoted them that truly made them special. Don't I know you? Bo Jackson. The city here, can Denver stay with Bo Jackson? The answer is no. Bo has another. Yes, my friends, an absolute 90s and slash late 80s legend, Mr. Bo Jackson himself. Easily one of the most athletic human beings to ever walk this planet. Two sport professional athlete for the Royals. Bo is there. For the Raiders. He's just so quick. Look at that burst. Banging into people. These are crazy. So these shoes originally released in 1990. <laughs> now Bo Jackson did have the Air Trainer 3, but the Air Trainer SE truly pays homage with the colorway. The neon orange and the blue represents Bo Jackson's college, which was Auburn, and he absolutely lit up the field with his right, skills. Buford, Campbell pitches the ball on a sweep to the short side. He broke the tackle, he's the 45 to 40. Jackson looks for running room, hit from behind, got away. At the 25, he's in the foot race at the 20. To the 15, to the 10, touchdown Auburn! Now, I got into Bo Jackson when I first saw You Don't Know Bo, a 2012 30 for 30 documentary, which I recommend all you guys watch. But it's like Bo Jackson and Dion were the only athletes at the time to be beasts in both the MLB in the NFL. So these shoes really represent an amazing athlete of that era and someone who I'm just absolutely intrigued with and intrigued by. And the shoes themselves are just beautiful. So they have these nice neon orange straps, beautiful white perforated leather, of course the blue accents. Now these were designed by Tinker Hatfield, hence why they look so damn amazing. I don't know what it was, but Tinker Hatfield was doing his damn thing. So the Nike check, iconic. Beautiful gray suede on the side, astounding. And these were the 2012 re-release and they are yellow because they are used on the outsole, but I actually like that. It gives a more authentic 90s vibe to this sneaker. Nike tongue with the embossed Nike logo. The back of the gray suede has the Nike logo featured. It has these nice little uh, lace eyelet hole thingy majiggers going on right here that are orange and of course blue. And these look like a little abstract McDonald's logo on the ankle region of the kick. Now these bad boys are highly, highly crinkled and creased in the toe cap. But that definitely is fine by me because I actually think I'm gonna wear these when I work out. So I truly wanna use these for what they were designed for. And what they were designed for was literally every single sport. And the Bo Nose campaign made these iconic as hell. Now where's that Tour de France thing? No shoes. They even dropped a full page ad where it has these shoes mocked up in every different sport. Like it has spurs on the back of one design. It has roller skates on the bottom of the shoe. And I just love having a piece of history in hand and as part of my collection. And that's why I had to acquire these guys. Now we're talking the price I paid. I think they originally released, or not originally, but they re-released in 2012 for $120. Did I pay that? Hell to the gnaw. You guys know I'm frugal as heck. I got these bad boys for $75 plus 13 shipping. A cool 88 bucks. Ain't too shabby for daddy and I've been watching them for a minute, but I figured I should go ahead and use some of the proceeds of me flipping thrifted kicks to buy a pair of iconic shoes that I really want in my collection and that represent one of the coldest athletes to walk the face of our great blue marble planet Earth. Earth is my planet. All right, these are insane. 
So what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is actually throw these puppies on feet and work out in them and let y'all know how comfy these shoes are. Uh, G Willikers guys, bruh, so just got back from running with these on. Did I feel like Bo Jackson in the All-Star game just slugging? Obviously. Lead off, Homer. I, I just, I don't know if there's ever been anyone doing it. Hey. He's remarkable, and look at that one. Bo Jackson says hello. Did I feel like Bo Jackson diving with the Royals and making an amazing catch in these? I did. Did I feel like I just beat the boss on like an 80 yard touchdown run? I did. And Bo Jackson to the 20 and out in front. And only one man to pin and easily can't run him down. He had the angle, but there goes Bo. And nobody catches Bo. Touchdown. <laughs> he may not stop yep. the coma. Bruh, the spirit of Bo Jackson took over my soul while I was rocking these shoes. Now I will say on feet for training purposes, obviously a shoe in 1990 isn't necessarily gonna hold up in terms of tech and quality to modern day athletic shoes, but these are pretty comfy. The only discomfort I had was on the interior heel, and also I don't typically work out in high top shoes whatsoever. I just love breaking ankles, even if they're my own. But uh, yeah, I mean, these shoes were pretty sweet to work out in. I don't know if I'm gonna continue to do so, only because this is the only pair that I have, and I did grab these for a steal, so I don't know if I wanna bust these in. I might just wait until they do another retro release and then um, turn the old, the older ones into some trainers. But either way, man, the Nike Air Trainer SC Highs Auburn colorway are absolutely astounding. <sighs> it's nice to have a 90s piece of history in my closet, in my sneaker collection, and this was definitely worth flipping all those sneakers. So yes, thank you guys again for watching. Please like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more and drop a comment. Let me know what your favorite 90s sneaker is or if there's a pair that may not be as hyped or known about. These aren't even hyped. These were just an eclectic piece to add to the collection and a nice little grain of history to throw into my wardrobe, as I said. So yeah, if you guys have any slept on 90s cakes that are your favorite, drop the name of them in the comment section below. I always am looking to find more silhouettes and stumble across some true gems um, that are slept on by other people. But anyways, live the dream, eat that ice cream, and we're gonna end today's video with the Bo Jackson SC Trainer commercial. So you guys enjoy, and I'll see y'all next time. Don't I know you? Nice shoes. Yo, Kenny City Wine. Are you sure we haven't met before? Now where's that Tour de France thing? Nice shoes. I knew I should have taken the right turn at Albuquerque. Have you ever been to LA? Oh, don't sir. That's what you think, dude. Mike, you won't join me in a spot of tea. Where'd you put your college ball? What is he doing here? I thought this was another Bono's commercial. Has anyone seen Bo's ball? I know, Kansas City. 
Nice shoes. Nice shoes. You ever play with Bo Diddley? Killing these songs, leaving them bloody like Pyrus do. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.